Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Jaguars. Jaguars. My name is Owen. And I'm McKenna. Today is National Compliment and Peanut Butter Day. So be sure to give someone a compliment and eat some peanut butter. That's for the where allergic. to put the peanut butter. If you're in National Honor Society, make sure to head to the meeting in the auditorium at the beginning of access. <laughs> the Drama One Act plays have rehearsals in room 400 from 3 to 5 p.m. tonight. The, the One Acts are Thursday and Friday, February 2nd and 3rd. You won't want to miss it. Ow! If you are interested in joining the Student Council family, applications are now open. Go to the STUCO website and fill out the application. The due date is Friday, February 10th. Please see Ms. Klein or any other current student council members if you have any questions. Seniors auditions are now open to speak or perform at the 2023 senior event, which includes graduation, senior honors night, and the senior celebration. Seniors interested can find all the details, dates, and audition information in the site below. Eh. The, deadline, the deadline to submit a speaker audition is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023, by 6 p.m. And music performer submissions are due by Thursday, February 21st, by 6 p.m. Please contact Mrs. Zimmerman or Ms. Hartland with questions. Today is a very busy day for our Rock Canyon student athletes. There's a girls varsity swim and dive meet at 5.30 p.m. at Arapaho High School. Boys volleyball has an informational meeting from 5 to 8 p.m. in the orchestra room. Girls JV basketball plays at 4 p.m. and varsity plays at 5.30 p.m. in the jungle against the Legend Titans. No matter what, face everything and rise. And finally, boys varsity basketball plays against Legend in the jungle at 7 p.m. Make sure to show up and support your fellow athletes tonight. Welcome back to This Day in History. Yesterday was Owen McWilliams' 16th birthday, so make sure to... <laughs> On January 24, 1975, the world's first McDonald's drive through opened in Arizona. In 1984, the first generation Apple Mac computer went on sale. Each computer was sold for about $660. That's about the price of an iPhone 13 nowadays. Wow. In 1986, NASA's Voyager discovered 11 new moons orbiting the planet Uranus. 
In 2006, Walt Disney announced the purchase of Pixar for $7.4 billion. That's a lot of money. That was This Day in History. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Did you know that wearing seatbelts reduces the risk of death in car accidents by 45%? More than half of the crashes that cause injury or death happens at speeds less than 40 miles per hour and within 25 miles from home. Please wear your seatbelts, Jags. All the time, actually. Hi, my name is Christy Schultz, and I am Sammy Kaplish's mom. Sammy was a super fun girl, always made you laugh, always had a good smile. She cared about her family and her friends. Uh, just her typical teenager who just liked to have a lot of fun. My first thought whenever I got the phone call was shock. Um, I was really surprised. And um, yeah, I asked the girls in the car to pray because we didn't know what had happened. Processing the loss of my daughter has been hard. I've used many different tools. I think I'm still processing that. I think it's something that will probably happen throughout my entire life. Um, every stage is different because you realize, oh gosh, at this age, this would be happening or that would be happening. Um, I did though do, I do go to therapy, um, have a counselor, and then I also did a group at Judy's house, which is designed to help families who lose loved ones. And um, really I just talk about her. And um, something else we did was we started a foundation that would help people because we thought, well we knew that making something good, having something good come from this would help us as well. I think the hardest thing to accept was that um, she was really gone and still is the hardest thing. There are days that I think it's gotta be a bad dream, um, but, but it's not, unfortunately. So we tried to turn something bad into something good and that's the only way I think it made it easier to accept it. Going through this experience has taught me a lot about grief. I don't think that you ever, ever really understand it until you have to go through it. And it's also taught me a lot about the importance of wearing seatbelts. My name is Lizzie Kaflish and Sammy was my sister. Me and Sammy's relationship was really good. We told each other everything and we were just best friends. What I miss most about Sammy is just the way she was so sweet and supportive of me and everything I did and I knew I could always come to her for help and that she'd always be there for me. So I guess I just miss seeing her every day and like being able to be with her. A positive memory I have of Sammy is whenever we went to New York and we went on a trip together with our dad and we just would walk around New York all day and all night and just have a lot of fun and take a lot of pictures. Something that helped me cope with the loss was just my mom. She'd always be there for me and just turning to God whenever like things would get hard. He says the Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. People should wear their seatbelts to help protect themselves and their friends and family. And when people don't wear their seatbelts, it's putting them and other people in the car in danger. And it can just help you and prevent like severe injuries that could ruin your life for forever. I think it's important for others to wear their seatbelts because they don't understand the impact that one little decision can make on so many people. Seatbelts save lives and whenever somebody passes away they have no idea how many people they affect and the way that it does affect people. The impact we would like to leave with Sammy Sunshine is to help families who have loved ones that are in car accidents to help them get through this experience as well as um, impact teams to talk to them about wearing their seatbelts. And you know, we just, we don't want other families to experience what we went through. The message we'd like to get to the community is that we're here and we're here to support you and your loved ones if you're in a car accident. And also we'd like you to buckle up. A way that the community can help is by just wearing their seatbelts and spreading seatbelt awareness. We love to partner with schools, so Rock Canyon would love to partner with you guys to do a buckle up campaign. Something we'd like to leave as Sammy's legacy is that she did help save others' lives by them knowing her story and they buckled up because of that.
Always remember to wear your seatbelt in a moving vehicle. Seatbelts save lives. That's all we have for you today, Jaguars broadcast lead out. Thanks for watching. Oh. Are we leaving? Yeah.